Dr. Greger's new book, How Not to Age, is out now, and it's so exciting. I love how he's able to condense all his findings down into accessible and easy-to-do steps, one of which is his Anti-Aging 8, and this is an actionable checklist to complement his Daily Dozen from How Not to Die. And it highlights eight specific foods, supplements, or behaviours that have the potential to offer the best opportunities to slow ageing or improve longevity. But in two recent interviews, he was asked if he had to pick the most important finding in How Not to Age to slow the ageing process and extend lifespan. What would it be? And his answer may surprise you, so let's take a listen. In terms of what's actually most important, it'd probably be the mTOR chapter, where everything kind of comes back to that. And so then, you know, that's really followed up my anti-aging eight with uh, protein restriction in terms of, and particularly methionine restriction, the restriction of the amino acid methionine, which, you know, can play a role in every single one of the 11, but certainly those pro-aging uh, enzymes are central. And realize, wait a second, something like protein restriction, bringing your protein levels just down to recommended levels, from excess down to recommended, uh, hits every single one. It's the only intervention that hits every single one of the 11 anti-aging pathways. A lot of the benefits of the protein restriction is really just restricting these certain amino acids like methionine and the branched chain amino acids. So even if you kept your protein intake the same, but you switched from animal protein sources to plant protein sources, you would decrease... Um, your intake, methionine, for example, which is really maybe the bulk of the benefit from cutting down on protein in general. At age 65, I recommend going from 0.8 grams per healthy kilogram body weight up to 1.0. Excess protein, you get a drop in the pro-longevity hormone FGF21. You get a worsening of the age-accelerating enzymes, IGF-1 and, and mTOR. But, and again, that protein restriction, all 11 aging pathways. It boosts NAD, improves immunity decreases oxidative stress, inflammation, insulin resistance, as well as cancer-promoting growth hormones. So we should really try to stick to the recommended. 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight comes out to be about 50 grams a day, going up to a full gram per kilogram after age 65. Back in 2015, I heard of a fascinating organisation called the Nutritional Oncology Research Institute, who talk about the amazing potential of methionine restriction for cancer treatment. Quote, of all the different dietary approaches to cancer, methionine and cysteine restriction stands out as the approach most supported by scientific research. Methionine and cysteine restriction not only limits the availability of amino acids necessary for cancer cell growth and survival, but also limits other critical amino acids that cancer cells require for growth and division. Normal cells are unharmed through these intermittent nutritional interventions. The Institute has developed a specific methionine and cysteine restriction protocol that's been utilised for many years, with quote, proven success. Links to their work is in the description below, along with links to buy Dr. Greger's new book. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.